Hello, Facebook friends. It is attorney Derek Bernstein here. It is Friday, May 11th, about four o'clock right now. We are at the offices of FL Legal Group, where I work in beautiful downtown Tampa, about one block from Emily Arena, where the lighting will play soon. One thing I wanted to start doing was answering some legal questions on Fridays. Uh, for people who just kind of are afraid and don't know what uh, they're getting themselves into or they've gotten into a car crash and they're just not getting good advice or just generally have some legal questions that they're just afraid to ask or can't find on Google. So I'd like to start doing a little weekly video where through the week people can send me a question they have and I'll pick one on Fridays and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability, or I can reach out to some other, other attorneys and get that answered for you. So this is uh, video number one. Let me know if you like it, if you have any questions, ways I can make it better. Uh, just trying to give you guys some good advice, pass it forward um, in multiple areas. But today, I wanted to talk about a question I get a lot as a personal injury attorney about should I go to the doctor after a car crash if I'm feeling good? So the reason why I always answered people is yes is simple. You have 14 days to go and get medical attention. So what does medical attention really mean there? Well, it could be getting seen at the scene of the accident by emergency medical. It could be going to an urgent care, it could be going to a hospital, be going to a chiropractor. Technically, you can go to a dentist as well, even though that's probably a really limited use there. But one of the things I tell with people is that they say, I feel fine, everything is great. And that may be true, but there's a lot of asymptomatic issues that you could have. So I tell people, go to an urgent care, go to your chiropractor, go to your family physician. Um, if you do feel like it's an emergency, obviously go to the emergency room. But uh, go get seen quickly to make sure that just everything's okay. What you don't want is three weeks from now, you are sitting um, on your couch, you go do something with your kid, they jump on your back, and now you're in a ton of pain. And now you go to the doctor and you have to pay out of pocket or you have to bill your health insurance. See, if you're in a car crash, you have what's called personal injury protection. It's $10,000 per occurrence per person in your vehicle. So if you and two of your children are in the back seat, get into an accident, bring them with you. Make sure that it opens up your PIP coverage so that when you go to that doctor, make sure you tell them, I've been in an accident and I would like to be evaluated. Um, and if everything comes back, clean bill of health, great. If it doesn't and something is wrong, then at least you know. And even if you were the person who was at fault, you ran a red light, you didn't stop at a stop sign, you were on your phone watching uh, a video. I don't recommend watching this one while you're driving, but um, you still have $10,000 to treat for a car crash. That could be chiropractic, that could be physical therapy, that could be getting MRIs to make sure that you're not really hurt or are hurt could be uh, some minor surgeries, pain management, whatever it necessary is. It's money that you pay every single month. So you want to make sure that you go out to a doctor, you get checked out, and you just make sure that everything is fine or it isn't um, so that when you're sitting at home later and you go to the doctor, if you didn't get seen within 14 days, there's no money. You're basically giving up that money right then and there uh, by not getting checked out. So when in doubt, go in, get checked out. If you don't know of a good physician in anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, I have the uh, privilege and honor of representing a lot of good chiropractors, MDs, DOs, physical therapists. I can give you a recommendation on who I would uh, go to in your area to get checked out. Um, there'll be uh, very little out of pocket, so you don't have to worry about paying a hundred, two, three hundred dollars. Your PIP insurance will cover that. You'll have to cover uh, a copay which is a small amount there too. So if you have any questions about that, reach out to me. If you guys have any questions in general, it could be family law, bankruptcy, landlord tenant. Um, one of the reasons I got into law was just to help people. 
So if you have any questions that you think you'd like to ask a lawyer, here I am trying to uh, pass it forward and uh, enjoy your weekend. Go Bolts. Uh, stay safe and happy Mother's Day to everyone. Bye.